Hello guys, this is Ali Sulanki and today we'll be talking about hackathons. Okay, so over here I'll be talking about what hackathons are. If you don't know that already, uh, why is it useful? Why do you need to know about it? Third, we'll be talking about ETH India event that is going to be happening from 2nd to 4th of December uh, this year. So we'll be talking about that as well. I am coming to ETH India. So if you are coming over there as well, say a hi to me. Apart from that, we'll be talking about how to win hackathons. So if you're participating in ETH India or any of these hackathons, online, offline, any kind of hackathons, how to win them, I'll be talking about that as well. So let's get right into the video. Let's talk about each and everything. Also, if you haven't made your own website yet, then you can use Bluehost for it. You can actually make your own website. You can host your website and also buy your own domain on the same platform. Bluehost is the number one recommended hosting provider by WordPress itself. Now, of course, there are a lot of options for domain names, but you can also buy .co, .biz, or even .club. If you want a global presence, using .co as a domain name will help you achieve that. If you also want your website to be short and catchy, .co is the best way to go. .biz if you have a business and need to look professional, .biz is the perfect choice for your domain. .club If you are a creator or a business representing a club, using .club is a must for optimal results. With free hosting, Bluehost also provides a bunch of different things which are listed over here. And that is not it. With the purchase of one domain, you actually get hosting completely for free. So thanks Bluehost for sponsoring this video and let's get on with the rest of it. Okay, so the first point that I want to talk about is what is a hackathon in the first place and why is it useful? So a hackathon is a 24 to 48 hour long event wherein you build something, build a solution to a problem statement. For example, I know this is quite complex, but let me break it down. So I'll give you my experience of my first hackathon, which was my college hackathon itself. It was KJC hack. Uh, and I was in my first year of college back then. Now, at that point, I didn't know, you know, how to code. I didn't know what is Android Studio, what is all of these frameworks, React, everything. I didn't know anything, okay? I was a newbie at that point. Now, I remember I, with my batchmates, uh, three of my batchmates, we planned on making a hospital management system. It's still live on my GitHub, but I don't know if the code is still working or not because I've not updated it, to be honest. But uh, what we did was we divided the task. So Nishit from my team, he knew how to, you know, work with websites, how to build websites and all of those things. So he was managing the website building part using Django. So Django is a framework that runs with Python. You don't need to know about it. But yeah, basically he was building that platform up. I, on the other hand, was working on its Android uh, application. So I was learning about android studio and building an application for it now so to give you a perspective i did not know anything about coding let alone you know knowing about android studio and all of those things so i started to learn about that uh, only a few days before the hackathon was going to start and during the day of hackathon what happened was the plugin that we wanted to use for android studio was written in java now, I had learned uh, Android Studio in Kotlin language. So that was a bit of a problem for me. I actually, you know, learned it from scratch, uh, how to integrate all of those things. But the reason why I'm mentioning these small, small issues is because I want you to know that during hackathons, you will face a lot of issues. And the main objective of a hackathon is to hack through these problems. You need to learn how to solve these problems and that is the main objective of a hackathon. But if you still want to know more about hackathons, then you can click the i button. I've made a detailed video about hackathons. So go check that video out. So let's talk about a specific hackathon that is happening from 2nd to 4th of December. This hackathon would be ETH India Hackathon and it's happening in Bangalore so if you guys are flying over to Bangalore then please please attend this event 
say hi to me i'll be attending that event as well and wish me best of luck because i'll be participating in this hackathon so how much does it cost to actually participate in these hackathons registration cost zero um the team that you want to build can you apply to them individually yes you can you can even build teams it's always better to have a team rather than applying individually but if you don't have any friends who are into coding you can always make friends during the hackathon as well so once you have participated in a hackathon you would be able to join their discord group or somewhere where you can see other participants and maybe form a team with them always form a team with people who have complementary skills so for example if i know a front end language or a front end framework like flutter so i would try to you know collaborate or try to bring in people who know back end or who can handle the back end of the application so that is what you need to find and uh, if you don't know anything you just have to go in and be open to learning new things so yes you can participate in a hackathon even if you don't know anything so how do you actually apply to these hackathons and know about it in the first place uh, there's a very cool website that has been built for just this purpose which is called devfolio now the link would be down in the description box below and you can explore it as much as you want there are two types of hackathons first of all one is an online hackathon and another one is an offline hackathon so what do you need in both of these things of course you need a very good laptop a very good is subjective so yeah uh, a laptop you need a power bank you need to have valid government id and all of these things would be written on the hackathons website as well but these are just some of the practices that you know are happening for all the hackathons out there apart from that now when you are actually submitting your project make sure that it is a project that you've built in those 24 to 48 hours only do not submit a project that you would have taken from some github repository or maybe have built it 2 uh, 3 years back and are just you know repurposing the code again and again so don't do all of those things try to build an innovative project which is built within those 24 to 48 hours now let's talk about how to win hackathons and uh, what are some of the requirements that you need so first of all as i said you do not need to have any kind of coding background in order to apply to these hackathons but it's always better to know about certain things now the programming languages that you need to learn or the frameworks that you need to learn really depend on what do you want to participate as for example if you're a front end developer then you should be knowing react you should be knowing flutter you should be knowing all of these frameworks that are already out there for that you would be knowing programming languages like javascript uh, dart and all of these things but for example if you don't want to learn these things you want to participate as a back end developer right you want to manage the server side coding then you'd be learning things like node js how to manage databases mongodb and all of these things so it really depends on what you want to participate as right apart from this if you even haven't heard about these things in the first place can you participate in a hackathon absolutely you can participate in the hackathons without knowing any of these things you need to learn and you need to be open to learn these uh, new technologies so once you have done all of these things let's talk about how to win right so if you want to win hackathons the first and the most important thing is that your project idea or whatever you are building is actually solving a real problem uh, that is out there the second thing it should be new it should be unique it shouldn't be something that i can find over github i can find uh, some other projects have already built it should have some unique taste to it uh, some unique idea to it the third and most important part is the presentation once you've built the entire project i've seen many amazing projects at hackathons which have some amazing you know features and the application is great but they suck at presenting their applications so just at the judging round they do not have a well made uh, presentation they do not have all the features listed they are fumbling and they are not able to explain why is it a good idea or why is it a good solution so make sure you have all of these points listed down before even starting on a project With all of these points I think you should be well covered and see you at ETH India if you guys are coming so drop a hi if you are bye bye